Hello there, Reject Nation. We got Andrew Gordon with us today yeah. to drop stellar Easter eggs and references with no visual aids. <laughs> so that's how we roll. Hey, John. Hey, Greg. So we're going to watch episode five of Cobra Kai. It's like Eminem said, you could rhyme orange with anything. I just did that with five. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna check this out. If you could hit that like button, sweet. If you could subscribe and click that notification bell, even better. Full length watch alongs where you sync up with the time code for Cobra Kai or over at our Patreon page. Become a super reject today, but check it out. Everything over there. Lastly, thanks to the boys at Prepper for helping us edit down these highlights. They do not know martial arts, so we bully them a lot. That's right. We bully them. Help. Edit. Straight. Cut away. <laughs> Roll that intro. My past behavior was inexcusable. All I can say now is I'm truly sorry. Does Johnny know about any of this? But if you don't get off my property right now, I swear to God. Your dad is pissed. Who is that guy? I have no idea. He looks like a Highlander. <laughs> if Cobra Kai wins the All Valley, you two are done teaching. For good. It's not gonna happen. Because you're not gonna win. Now get the hell out of here. It's terror. He's like, I don't get this guy. So much anger. <laughs> this is my dojo as much as it is his. Really? Sign out front says Miyagi. -Do. Unless you want to crammed up your ass sideways, you better take off after your bridge partner. <laughs> if your enemies do something to mess with you or laugh in your face, take all that anger and store it because you're going to need it when the time comes. Rage load. Oh, damn, he's taking over. <laughs> Chris looks a little doubtful. But, you know, he's going to go to Danny and be like, I made a big mistake. And after I beat Barnes, I never saw Silver again. Until today. The year after our title fight, they put you straight through to the finals. It's bullshit. <laughs> it's a <only> takeaway. <laughs> Clearly never saw part three. I've seen his methods. I know how his warped mind works. The game has changed, and we need to change with it. Which is why I need to take over our students' training from now on. Oof, ugh. They strike first, you strike firster. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna play defense all day, I'll tell you that for yeah, free. Yeah, worked against Silver and you, remember? Yeah, barely, look, we both know if we fought 10 times, I'd have beat you nine. We have fought 10 times. Gentlemen, <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to keep it down. Shut the fuck up. Whoa. 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 We never fought to the finish. What? Was well, that what you want, Johnny? To finish the fight? Why not? You think you beat me again? Prove it. Oh, God. You and me, tournament style. First of three points wins. Oh, God. And takes over the kids' training. Oh, oh, oh no. Guys, no. This is not the this way. Not the time. <laughs> ah. 30 minutes. The baseball diamond. Sundown on the sparring. The guys, what the F word? What the f? Vet turned businessman, had a few ups and downs, but still turned out pretty rich. Not much dirt, other than some toxic waste scandal in Borneo. Damn, look at his hair. How'd you even find out his name? I took a picture at the dojo, then found an old facial recognition beta test and tweaked the code to make it compatible with ATIC. I love it when you talk nerdy. Hey. hey. I, I like the new hue. Purple's the color of the crown chakra, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I was going for, so. <laughs> huh. Same me a seat at lunch. Specifically, oh. this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put our butts together. Yo, you guys won't believe this. Since what? I got drunk and went on a Twitter rant. I believe everything except for the part where he knows how to tweet. <laughs> oh, hash brown. Yes. <laughs> so this is real? Sensei and Sensei are gonna throw down. Cool. Our daughter just sent me this? Anything you want to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Terry Silver happened. He's a certified whack job from my past who's just come back to Cobra County. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> are there any other Cobra Kais from your past that are going to come out of the woodwork and destroy our lives? Mike Barnes. Well, 
I can't say that for sure. <laughs> Set up. You know it. Just so I'm clear, you're not actually going to fight him, right? Of course not. I'm sure he woke up just as hungover as I did and realizes how stupid this he all is. He's in a training montage right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes. He's really going for it. Punch dance it out, Johnny. That was a deleted scene. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Whoa. That's right. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Jesus. Ow. <laughs> you go to jail for that, man. Yeah. This is assaulted, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey Johnny, we both said some things we regret. I am um, sorry if I offended you. No, don't, don't apologize. It shows weakness. Oh, that's your arcs, guys. You must learn to apologize. I had a bit of a rough night. Makes sense. Saw Johnny's tweets. Everybody at school's talking about the fight. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Your mom told me about the birthday party. It seems you're the one doing the instigating now. Come on. Compared to what Tori's done, that was nothing. Well, I get that. But you know we don't believe in aggression. That's not how we act. Maybe that's not how you act. But I can make my own decisions. Got Ooh. Hey, Bishop. The three Ds. Yes! Desire. Yes! Devotion. Yes! And discipline. First two, I can't give you. Yes! The last one I can, yes. but you have to be willing to receive it. Yes. Are you? All right. Timmy stands. Chris, why are you so upset, man? I think you and I need to have a little chat. Mm -hmm. It sucks we can't give a beat down before the tournament. Just because we can't fight doesn't mean we can't get a little payback. They're gonna put milk in their lockers. <laughs> <laughs> I make like I'm gonna walk into it again. The last second, I slip under, shoulder check him to the balls, take him to the mat. Oh, oh. <laughs> so if you win, we just train Eagle Fang. There's no Miyagi Do. You got it, Pontiac. But what if I don't want to stop learning Miyagi Do? Oh, God. What the hell are you saying? You want him to win? No. Well, I guess the way I see it, no matter who wins, nobody wins. Somebody always wins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no matter what ancient philosophical bullshit LaRusso's been feeding you. Okay, Sensei. <laughs> well, good luck, right? Guys, don't fight! Even though I kind of want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> so torn in this <laughs> I thought if we taught together, we could make the kids stronger. Maybe they can end on a perfect tie? Try to put aside the past. That's neat. Similar memories, but different times when they were attacked. For my students, for my daughter. Fighting him is the only way to move forward. And if I'm wrong, I just hope that you'll forgive me. Guys. <gasps> Bring us whatever bottle of scotch your boss has stashed for special occasions. You don't have to do that. I know. I'm just better than you. <laughs> I'm talking about Robbie Keane. You never told me his father was Johnny Lawrence. Now you've got him and the rest of the kids wrapped up in all your old drama. And if you're not careful, it's going to take Cobra Kai down all over again. Yeah, you're good, Terry. You were right about me, John. I was living a lie. I lost who I was along the way. And all my hair ties. Focus on our students. We do that, everything else will fall into place. LaRusso will have to shut down Miyagi Do. Johnny Lawrence will rue the day he ever left Cobra Kai. What do you say? Dave, he is so good. I say, we've got a victory in our future. 
Shit. Oh, boy. That Silver, man, he is awesome. He's a great he is, actor. Yeah. He is <laughs> something else. Had two shops closed for the day. Hey. Whoa. Oh, damn. That phone break makes sense. Damn. Oh, oh shit. What the whoa. shit, guys? This is whoa, way too whoa, far. Whoa. What are they going to tattoo on him? Ignoring the no fighting rules. <laughs> going to do the Mike Tyson thing on his face. Oh, no. Going to cut his hawk off? <laughs> Oh, uh, they're gonna like shave his whole head. Yep. I want what's best for them. What's best for them is Miyagi Do. And if fighting you is the only way I could get there, then let's just get this done. All right, Luiso. Let's finish this. Oh my god, they're actually gonna fight? Oh. Face us. Now. Face each other. This is not the way. <laughs> no. Doing this. Wow, it's nuts. Miguel wants Daniel, Sam <laughs> wants Johnny. Ready? Fight! Oh. Take the lead. All he has to do is score one more point, and LaRusso is the winner. Don't let him get to you. Scores two on LaRusso. Ready? Holy shit. There's a ferocity. Oh, oh, Johnny. That was sick. Course two, two. Next point wins. Thank you, Samantha. They're gonna knock each other out. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I know. <laughs> They did oh. tie. They tied. Are you sure? Are you sure? <sighs> Check the replay. I was wondering how they could tie. <laughs> I think I said that out loud earlier. You did. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> another angle. There is no other angle. Don't you guys have another phone? Uh oh. No. Oh. Shit, Eli, what happened? Who did this? Hmm. Cobra Kai? It doesn't matter how many times we stand up to Cobra Kai. If we don't strike back, they're going to keep coming at us. And you're worried about my influence on your kids? Yeah, well, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Because we're done. God damn it. So Eagle Fangs, let's go. Uh oh, gonna go. Uh oh, oh yeah. no. Miyagi does, let's go. Oh, guys. Bring them together, Miguel. I have sad nipple chills. Oh, nipple tears. That's a real pain in the ass, guys. Mm. <laughs> So, all right, Jacques, can you... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're done. Stop the episode, guys. It's not going to play automatically. <laughs> Battle of Perspectives, Raid on in Cobra Kai. Today, Johnny, who will win? It's so crazy, man. 
you know for sure they're not going to come back together. They're not. Definitely no. not. A thousand percent no they way. won't come back together. We're going to have four main plot lines that we have to cut to <laughs> every episode. Yeah. It's going to be chaos at the end. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you'd expect them to not have a work at a certain point, but I love that they, by bringing back Terry Silver, that is the final thrust for them to ultimately go their separate ways, where it's like it provokes their ego so much and their arrogance of what the right direction is to the point where it puts them at their final odds mm -hmm. with one another. And, you know, it's like when they're arguing, you do go back and forth because it's like, guys, the whole point is to not be black and white about the situation. The point is that sometimes what you're doing works, and sometimes what you're doing works, yeah. but they both feel so desperate in what is right that it's like politics. It's like become a, a martial arts game of politics between the two of them. Mm. And it's really well written. That fight was really intense at the end. And, and I love just how they deal with the perspective so much so that with the, even with the flashbacks, like you're seeing the moments that Johnny's when he's doing his training montage and he's remembering like all the times he felt Danny picked on him. And then they kind of go back to those same memories and it's the moments when Johnny, he, he felt Johnny was so like, wow, they both just remember this shit so differently. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's it's really fascinating to see how they do it. And I like the, there's just so much about like fathers, sons, children's daughters, you know, kids. <laughs> there's so much about them and how, you know, like Robbie's at Cobra Kai, Miguel's kind of converting a little bit more to Miyagi-Do, Sam's converting a little bit more to Eagle Fang. It's really interesting watching the the influences around and when really it's like you guys seem to have a mature conversation and that's why I think Amanda is such a breath of fresh air as like the yes. audience cipher to always show up and just have this look of like, this is ridiculous every single time. Bam diggity, I've said all I need to say. You did it. Well done. Brevity. He was over. It's the soul of encapsulating everything you need to say in a short amount of time, equating to a nice micro-sized dose of words. End of quote. I couldn't Andrew, it. take it away. What the hell do I say after that? <laughs> yeah. I said just two minutes of stuff, oh, Andrew. Okay. Short. Short and to the Short point. and sweet. Take I agree your time. With, I, I agree with everything you were saying, and I like how we expanded upon from the last episode where, you know, having the influence of the teachings on each of their students and just seeing the conflict that arise. And I love that you pointed out that Terry Silver is that final thrust that just pushed them apart because you'd see Daniel's obviously not in, uh, in the mind of uh, critical thinking anymore. He's because uh, of all the terrible memories that he had from part three. And I really, I think though my favorite part of this whole episode was that conversation that Terry had and uh, Kreese at the restaurant. That was just to see uh, Thomas Ian Griffith's acting prowess. I mean, that dude just has a presence to him and he is just so freaking good. And they're just both such good manipulators that, I mean, <laughs> you kind of find yourself rooting for them even though you're really not. But I mean, they're just so good. And I, just seeing their chemistry and their interactions is just priceless. I love it. Uh, Do you, you think Terry's manipulating Kreese? In, in in certain aspects, yeah, I mean, he did get him to stop, you know, I mean, even though he's understanding the plan, not making him, uh, being jealous of him, like, taking over the students anymore, so, I mean, he knows how to get under Kreese's, uh, you know, uh, head and all that, too, because obviously they, they fought together in Vietnam, and they, grew, I mean, they started Cobra Kai together, and they have a history, so... You know, it's 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 interesting to watch uh, their interactions, but uh, I think Terry's really good at appearing like he means well. Mm -hmm. You know, I yeah, think I think that's what that scene is. does so I, good is like, I can't tell if you're just looking out for what you believe, mm -hmm. <laughs> or if you actually do kind of care about Crease right now. Because yeah. parts of it do make sense. It's like, no, 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 no. don't just look at the minutia of like, ah, oh, you know, they, they struck out physically against us. Look at the bigger picture, which is like a decent message of like, you have the greatest asset of all in the sort of mind game. And, and I think that's a, a nice illustration of both of them is Crease has the very physical uh, tactics, whereas Terry Silver in a lot of ways is all about the mind game. And it's really cool the way that they juxtapose the two teams because yeah, you have Crease and Terry Silver kind of succeeding at really very much succeeding at what Johnny and Danny are trying to do, but you can see how their parts really match, whereas Johnny and Danny are the sort of disarray of trying to bring their ideologies and, and clarify them to themselves and then each other. You know, and so 
yeah, I, I love just the juxtaposition of their split versus the fortification of Crease and Silver in this. And the way, too, that, like, they're really good at making all these things feel of the character motivations. It makes sense how Johnny and Danny would get very riled because these are people who, like, in their youth, in their sort of core experiences, really affected them in ways that they're still dealing with and all that shit about, like, let the past go, you know, don't even think about that. Like, they are so mired in it. Um, and even with the kids, it's like, you know, you can see some of that coming for dramatic weight, but it's like, yeah, you even, that felt natural too of like, well, yeah, of course, Sam is going to want to kind of gravitate toward what she hasn't always grown up inside of. And Miguel's going to want to gravitate away from his home base, you know, as these things happen. And yeah, it's, it's great because it gives you like the cheese you want of like, oh, Danny versus Johnny, but also like really conscientiously. <laughs> Easter eggs? Easter eggs! All right, uh, just off the top of my head, what I remembered, uh, during the training montage when Johnny's running, we see a guy kicking a soccer ball on his knee and leg. Obviously, we saw Daniel do that in the first film when he was hitting on Ali. Uh, we do get to see a deleted scene from Karate Kid, part, uh, the first Karate Kid film with the blueberry scene. That's uh, after Daniel buys uh, lunch for him and Ali. Uh, we never obviously got to see that in the first film, but they did talk about that in season three uh, when uh, they were talking to Allie and having that at the Encino Country Club. They talked about the blueberry scene. I remember when they mentioned that, I was like, oh, that is the blueberry deleted scene. Uh, and then also, too, we get Terry Silver saying, I can teach you the three Ds. He said this to Daniel LaRusso in uh, Karate Kid Part 3. I believe some of the punches uh, in that final fight were very reminiscent uh, from the their fight in the original film and also too in the spot where Daniel got hit that's where Miyagi taped up his ribs in that same exact spot uh, in the first film mm -hmm. as well uh, and yeah that's all I got right now at the top of my head what about you guys did you guys notice anything oh man they referenced Highlander at the beginning uh, which came out in what year it's good 86 Hells yeah. Fuck, you actually knew that. Can be only one. Uh, what's surprising <laughs> to me about you guys, I left you an opportunity. Oh no. And no one said nothing. What did we do wrong? <laughs> Mohawk. Oh. More like no hawk. <laughs> yes. Way to go, Mike God. Content. Mike drop content. Mike. <laughs> and also in this episode, I thought we got a very interesting perspective of how a phone actually breaks as opposed to falling on grass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. They even took they, that they, they saw. They saw. Uh, you know, in editing, they're like that doesn't make sense. We're gonna have someone step on this one. Yeah. Thank you for bringing that back, Andrew. You got <laughs> it. That's what I'm here yeah. for. Hawk has suffered the greatest consequence. He just dyed his hair. He's been dishonored. Girl character, what's her name? Moon. Moon was like, damn, you're looking kind of great with the purple and what it means. Yeah, crown chakra. I think that's what she said, yeah. So, you know, he derives so much of his identity and confidence from that. And then, you know, he's all about hawks in every way. The hawk dad dude, the hawk mohawk. He's got a tomahawk at home. Yeah, he's yeah, got he all kinds of hawk pro all day. <laughs> yeah. Big Howard Hawks. Big fan, fan of his, Hawkeye the and, show. Yeah, and, and his other favorite movie, Black Hawk Down. Black yeah, Hawk Down is really, really into that, man. <laughs> every time he orders pizza, he orders it as Mike Hawk. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, yeah, it's all about the hawk. And now to have that. I don't know why I just didn't finish shaving his head. Yeah, at that point, I'm like, you know, that's not gonna... I've yeah. seen cyberpunk movies where they try to pull that hairstyle off, and it's, it's not the coolest hairstyle. I'm just saying, like, he went and walked all that way just to be like, look what the dude who's taking a photo. Shh. Text it to everybody. To <laughs> everybody. Then everyone will receive it and laugh, and that's not what you want. Maybe. I felt really bad for him in I that moment. Too. Yeah. I I kind of feel like there was so much attention to Hawk in the third season. Hmm. And just how he just went down such like the biggest asshole path with little teases of you know his, his to him have a a, a, a a change of heart again and it seems like they've been putting him down the punishment route here mm -hmm. but it's kind of been uh even a little bit like an afterthought honestly he in could some be ways. more of a character for real. It's like, yeah, the first episode set it up in a way where it seemed like it would go down. Like, we're really going to show watching, like, kind of grow, yeah. like, and earn his way back to the friendships and stuff. But the, uh, but then it's like, you see that a moment in the first episode, he has the idea for the back, for the, um, the bridge, Okinawan bridge. bridge. Yes. Wow. 
<laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> the Okinawan Bridge. All these years and still impresses me. The Okinawan Bridge. And he's like, he's bullying Kenny. <laughs> and then he's, and they, and that then, uh, felt a little bit old like that, a yeah. missed opportunity yeah, for him to respond maybe a little bit differently and, and to make a bigger choice as the show. I mean, I guess it would Agreed. open up more, uh, yeah. you know, gray area, but even to ha have him maybe intervene on the two kids who are trying to pick on Kenny or something. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have a f closing thought on that. I would just say that we'll see how this goes. <laughs> <Get> some <laughs> hawk nuance going. Guys, fly like a hawk to that subscribe button. Shh, become a super eject today. Also, hey, let's do a pay. <laughs> Andrew Hayes, you have been selected by the great and wonderful Andrew Gordon. You both have so much in common. Too much, yeah. So much of the time when I talk with you, Andrew, I think of Andrew Gordon. I'm like, so much useless info stored in that noggin of yours. You both have such an interesting amount of unique energy. You're both ferocious. You both look like Wolverine. You're both four foot three. That's right. If you got both on top of each other and wore a trench coat, you could get into an R-rated movie. You both are really into locksmithing types of Definitely. deals. Andrew's always talking about working on them security keys. Oh, man, I just picked a lock on my way in. I don't know who the shout's were confusing for. You, you, <laughs> or, or the audience. <laughs> yeah. But either way, Andrew, you've been pledged to our page since 2017. My wow. God. We're going to have to do something on your fifth anniversary. We've got to celebrate, man. we got to make a shout out. A whole video just shouting. Five out. years you've been with us, wow. and five years you've been coming up with something to say <laughs> once a month for you. Yeah. I love you for it, man. Don't ever <laughs> leave, you sexy son of a bitch. Hundreds of shout outs. He's a better Andrew. You yeah, haven't been pledged for us ever. Sorry. Did you pledge to me? Do you have something to pledge to? No, I don't, but it's still. Stock I pledge my loyalty, man. I right. vouch for you, Fugazi, yeah. Donnie Brosk. <laughs> <laughs>